What is going on, everyone? Today's the day, and we have a full day's worth of driving, like eight hours, a full work shift ahead of us. So we are gonna pick up a coffee and hit the road. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. We're gonna get served you today. We don't often buy coffee on the road. In fact, it's our number one tip if you're looking to save a few dollars. Don't buy coffee out because over the last year, we decided to never, ever, ever buy coffee out again and we saved a lot more money than we ever thought we would. We are on our way to the Blueberry Hill Campground. It's about 20 or 30 minutes north of Sault Ste. Marie and Sault Ste. Marie itself is about seven and a half hours from Toronto. We're gonna be doing the driving in two or three hour shifts depending on how we feel. People will often drive across Ontario in two nights but we've decided because we have some time we're gonna take three nights, slow the pace down a little bit and once we get further west we're gonna take our time and hopefully see some sights. We've been driving for about three hours now, which means it's definitely lunchtime. Yesterday at the grocery store, we picked up some pre-made salads, which is probably not always something we would do anyways, because we like to make our own food. This was definitely the easiest thing to do. We followed the signs for a picnic ground and came across this gorgeous picnic ground right by the water. shift change because we still have quite a bit of driving left to do and it's better to be fresh-eyed. We've just come through prime cottage country in Ontario and because it's the Monday of a long weekend a lot of people have been headed home which is great for us because we're going the opposite direction. We're probably about an hour away from Sudbury. The scenery really hasn't changed much however there are a lot more lakes and bodies of water up here that keep kind of sneaking in between the rocks. hit our first roadblock west of Sudbury. We are completely stopped on a two-lane highway and there is absolutely no way around this. Looking ahead, a lot of the cars up there actually have their vehicle turned off and unfortunately there is just no alternative way. What we, are we stuck. What are we gonna do? Camp here for the night. Yeah, you know what? We have a bed in the back. I'm so tempted to get in there. Trials and tribulations of van life. Learning the hard way right off the bat. Okay, well no one wants to see that. <laughs> driving man sitting is not for me I'd rather be moving I absolutely love it though the guys in front of us they have a Manitoba license plate and they stopped turned off their van pulled out some stuff from the back and right now they're just crushing sandals Burda, Burda. we've seen a little bit of traffic coming the other way although <laughs> you know what it could just be the people at the front of the line getting pissed off and turning around we did see a tow truck coming down and the it was pulling a truck that had its front bumper completely ripped off, which was towing some sort of like sports vehicle, like a ski do or something. We still have three hours left to go, which isn't a big deal, but it is almost four o'clock, which means it'll be seven o'clock by the time we get there. Luckily, summers are still pretty long right now, so we should still have light, but it just doesn't give us a lot of time to rest up. So this is the After a half an hour rain delay, we're finally back on the road. Honestly, we're past ground zero now and the line going the other way is incredibly long. Like these guys are going to be in line for hours here, I think. Not much has changed in our drive. However, we did see a bridge that caught our eyes, so we figured we might as well get out, stretch our legs and enjoy some of this northern scenery. so nice to get out of the car for a bit and go adventure and honestly that's why we're taking this trip. It's so refreshing to just stop wherever you want and wherever looks interesting. We're way later than we expected. It's about six o'clock right now aka dinner time and we're probably still at least an hour away from our campsite for the night. Also um, mosquito bite number one already.
Tonight we are having a fried miso soy burger with hummus and a quinoa salad from the grocery store. Never disappointed with these. We both love miso and these burgers are really good. I'm really happy with this dinner. It's been a long day. It's about eight o'clock. I don't think we're gonna be staying up a whole lot longer because we have to do today all over again tomorrow. We have 700 kilometers to get to Thunder Bay. So I think we're gonna pack it in for the night. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful morning here in Sault Ste. Marie. It reached about eight degrees last night. We only slept with just our comforter and our sheets, so it's safe to say that worked out really well. However, we do still have our sleeping bags, so if it does start to get really cold, I think we'll be okay. Today, we've got another seven and a half hours of driving. We're going from Sault Ste. Marie to Thunder Bay, which follows along Lake Superior. It should be a beautiful drive, but it is going to be a cooler day today, only reaching 19 degrees, so not overly hot. Last night, we stayed at Blueberry Hills Motel and Campground, which is about 20 minutes north of Sault Ste. Marie, but right off Highway 17, which is perfect for just hopping on the road and going this morning. It was a nice campsite, not particularly private, as all the tents were in this one big square staring at each other. They had great showers that didn't require a token to use them, so money saved for us. And they had really clean bathrooms and clean sites. Honestly, we couldn't ask for much better. And for only $31 Canadian for the night, we were pretty happy. We've made it about halfway from Sault Ste. Marie to Thunder Bay now. We're now inland and we've been passing along a bunch of lakes that are really, really scenic. The landscape hasn't changed much though from the second half of yesterday's drive. We're starting to get a bit peckish. We looked at the map and we saw at White River, there's actually a lake there called Picnic Lake. We thought that was a perfect place to pull over. I love how descriptive some of the names here in Northern Ontario are. We looked at a map and found Picnic Lake and figured there must be picnic areas here. And sure enough, there are. But to get here, we turned down Beach Road and where else did it take us but to a beach on Picnic Lake. How perfect is that? So we're in White River at Picnic Lake. It's home of Pooh Bear, the children's book and TV show, which is kind of fitting to be eating porridge. Too bad it's not honey. Looking hot. <laughs> picnic lake. Is there a more lovely place to have a picnic? In the entire world, is there? Maybe. Maybe. I could name a few. <laughs> It's been almost four hours since Picnic Lake. We are almost at our campsite for the night at Kakabeka Provincial Park. Honestly, haven't really recorded much because my jaw has been on the ground of the vehicle. The views have been breathtaking. I've heard from a lot of people that driving through Ontario is incredibly boring. Shame on you people, that's totally wrong. We went through some rolling hills which revealed some incredible lakes here along Lake Superior. Honestly, I'm totally blown away. I think on the way back, we're gonna have to try and spend a little bit more time because our home province is way more beautiful than we ever thought. After another fairly long day of driving here in Northern Ontario, we are settling into our campsite pretty nicely. The amenities are, let's just say very basic, but I certainly think they will do for the night. What's for dinner, Kirsten? Miso tofu burgers. It is a deja vu of last night's dinner, only instead of being as healthy as we could be with salad, we are going with a very brown carbolicious meal. We're having rice. So instead of boring you with the details, how about we show you the reason we decided to stay here in Thunder Bay?
Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching again, and we will see you on the road in the next video. Bye. Thank you.